How's everyone doing? It's Indiana here with Ultimate 2 Reviews. Well, today we're taking a look at Tough Build. Now, they have their new stack system here. They're calling it Stack Tech. Um, you know, tons of brands are doing these new rolling toolboxes. Uh, this is kind of all the craze going on right now. Pretty much any brand you can think of has some form of this rolling toolbox out now. Um, Ryobi, Flex, Milwaukee, DeWalt. Um, only one that I don't think has it yet is Makita is one of the big brands, but I've heard rumors that they are coming with their own, you know, kind of comparable stack brand here coming out very soon. Uh, they've got that Mac Pack stuff, which is kind of terrible anyways. So, but anyways, back to Tough Build. Um, Tough Build historically doesn't really do power tools. They mostly just do accessories. Uh, but I'm hearing rumors now, and I actually found some photos for you guys about this massive 2024 kind of spring launch of a bunch of new stuff for their whole uh, Stack Tech line. Now, if you saw my video I just did a couple days ago at Lowe's, um, they've got a massive, you know, deals on these things right now at Lowe's. You spend so much money, you get a certain amount of dollar amount off. Um, Tuffield has their systems there. Um, they don't really have a lot out right now. Here's what they have on their website right now. They got the rolling toolbox, of course, the small toolbox, the large toolbox, the compact toolbox. They've got a tote out, some organizers, and a crate. That's what they're claiming on their website as of right now. But, of course, they are coming out with a massive amount of new stuff. So check this out. They've got an XL toolbox. Um, a lot of stuff here I'm kind of seeing that was stuff that like was always mentioned from Milwaukee that they wanted to have out but really didn't exist until just recently. Um, they've got a four-wheeled cart, of course, a cargo carrier, which is interesting. Um, this is the thing where you put it in like your trailer hitch and like a truck or SUV, and you can then put the uh, boxes on there, and they kind of lock in. So that's pretty interesting. They've got a two-in-one convertible hand truck, so it'll act like a regular hand truck like this, or you can kind of put it down into four wheels, and you can put two stacks the box on there so that is kind of interesting there um, of course they've got coolers the work surface which is always requested from pretty much every brand uh, drinkware which Milwaukee kind of dropped the ball on that one the lids kind of seem to leak a lot and they're like 35 bucks too it's kind of crazy how expensive those things are but they've got a shelf system a cooler a lunch box you know, they've already got the drawers here coming out. Uh, they have the three drawer and a single drawer. Um, so yeah, they're coming out with a lot of stuff here really, really quick. They've got, you know, even more stuff here. They've got more boxes. Um, they've also got a light here, which is kind of technically one of their first power tools that I've seen myself. Um, I've not really seen them have any other power tools of any sort um, up to this point. So that's pretty cool. They've even got a box fan, which is interesting. Um, I I don't think that's going to be battery power. That's probably just going to be plug in, just like the light. Uh, they've got a first aid kit, a transport, which is kind of like, you know, maybe some type of scaffolding thing. I'm not really sure what that is exactly. And then, of course, they've got a ton of other, you know, just accessory stuff like Flex is doing. And they've got a whole clip tech accessories as well. So, yeah, they've got a ton of stuff coming out here, guys. Um, now, if you had to ask kind of my two cents, I haven't really seen this stuff in person other than at Lowe's like a week ago. Seems like high quality stuff. But at the end of the day, we're having all these brands do these kind of rolling toolbox stuff. I really can't see every single brand surviving with this stuff. Um, you know, you've got pretty much, you can walk into any store now, you know, Walmart's got the heart stuff, Lowe's, Home Depot, each have their own brands. I think Lowe's now has like four or five of these systems. They've got Klein, which is one of the most expensive ones. I did a video on that, video on that about a few months ago. It's very, very expensive stuff. Uh, of course, Lowe's has Cobalt now um, with their own system. They've got Craftsman. Uh, they've got the Stack Tech. Uh, they've got Flex. <laughs> uh, Home Depot has, of course, the Ryobi Rigid. Uh, the Milwaukee and the DeWalt there. So yeah, there's a lot of options to choose from. Um, but for me, I'm all in pack out. And I will say the stuff is extremely durable. Um, I buy maybe one new piece of pack out a year, maybe two. Um, I've never had any of my pack out break so far. I use it a couple times a week here and there. Um, so, I mean, it's not something like power tools. I'm always, you know, buying the latest version of always, you know, I'm breaking it. You'll lose it pretty easily. The, the pack out, you know, the rolling toolboxes, you don't really seem to lose them too much. Um, they don't necessarily break that often as much as a power tool would. So this stuff isn't going to be, you know, as replaceable as bought so much as like power tools. So 
I really can't see every single brand out there surviving um, with all of these different stack uh, stacking systems here. So that's kind of just my two cents. I'm not saying you know the tough hill system won't you know succeed, but I'm just saying we've got so many of these brands you know launching all these new systems. What's really going to happen here? Are we actually going to see all these brands continue to make new stuff? I doubt it. Uh, but so far, this brand, if you're wondering kind of the price point here, um, it's going to be, I would say, upper mid-range. It's below, you know, like like other brands like Klein and Paco. Uh, but they're kind of aiming for that professional user, but still a decent price. Um, I would say right along the lines of like Rigid DeWalt is kind of the price points they're going for here. Of course, this large expansion, uh, if, as long as they have them, you know, in Lowe's and you can buy the majority of the system in Lowe's, I can't see a reason why it won't do too well. The only thing that is kind of hurting Tough Built is, of course, say you've got DeWalt Power Tools, you've got Milwaukee Power Tools, you're definitely more likely to buy the box version, you know, whatever toolbox version that that brand has, because you just want to match the power tools, and then all the brands know this. So that's going to be the one, you know, kind of thing that Tough Built has going against them, is they don't really have a power tool line to, of course, put tools into their boxes. But historically, though, from what I've seen from other reviews, some of the Tough Hill tools that I've used in the past, uh, they make a great accessory for a lot of tools. They make some great tools as well, too. So I can see these guys doing pretty well with this new system. But again, this market is becoming quite flooded with toolboxes. So that's the one downside there is everybody's making them. But of course, uh, a lot of guys are buying them. But how often do you need to buy these? And you know, you might own like Makita tools, you might own DeWalt tools. Are you really going to go and buy multiple brands of toolboxes? Very unlikely. So that's going to be the one thing going against it at this point, guys. Let me know in the comments, guys. What do you think about all these brands of toolboxes? What do you think about the new tough built stuff? I think it's pretty impressive so far from what I've seen. But again, guys, we're seeing a lot of these, and I can't necessarily see sales doing that great from all of these brands, you know, at the same time. So, guys, thanks for watching. Take care. Have a great week, and stay safe out there.